My name is Roberto, and I'm gonna be talking about a few things to spread good messages, positivity, because I mean, the world really needs it. I wanna talk about depression. I've had depression. I was diagnosed with it actually in uh, 2017 after a really bad um, accident where I, uh, my, my foot went that way and uh, it was, was broken for a while and you know um obviously being so young and not being able to walk it's taken a toll on my mental health and it kind of spiraled me downwards and i never really had the support that i really wanted from my peers from my friends and from my family my family never really understood emotional support and uh, i was just kind of i felt I felt useless. I felt like I, like, what well, I didn't belong. And it, it took a lot of time for me to recover and to think that, that I'm so glad that I'm still here. I'm so happy that I get to make memories and I get to live in the present. You know, it's okay to have a plan, but it's not okay that that's just something you're constantly worrying about because it reaches a point where you just forget to live your life because just of how much you're thinking about the future. And people say that I've felt suicidal. I've had these thoughts and I understand, I really do. And this world would not be a better place without you. Every single one of you out there have a purpose on this world and for other people it just takes a longer time people usually find out what that is when they're around my age around like 19 or 20 or they have no clue and they're just confused scared anxious etc and um i just want the people to know that it's okay to not know what the heck you're doing that's why time is such a really key factor and if you ever find yourself just downing yourself, I, I would best advise that you seek help. You seek a therapist. You seek just, you know, talking to one of your good friends, talking to your family. But definitely make sure that that person is ready for a conversation because... You know, I've let my mental health get in the way of my relationships, my um, uh, with my family, with my friends, and you know, I actually had to let go of one of my uh, girlfriends because it was just getting to a point where, you know, I was throwing everything that my mind had at her, and it was just really unfair because she was such a great person, and you know, I just. I feel really bad about how it bended, bended, ended, yeah. <laughs> this journey to get better has just been really confusing. And it's just been like a whole bunch of new emotions that I've just never really felt before. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm learning. This whole life thing is a learning moment. Your mind, there's only so much things you can control and that's your mind, your decisions, and your influences, the people you have in your life. That's the only thing you control because if you're constantly worrying about things that aren't in your control, you're just signing up for just a downward spiral of mental health and it really isn't worth it. It's just so much better to live a content, happy life where all you're worried about is yourself, unless you're a person who cares a lot about people and just doesn't really see themselves as something that they should care about but i'm here to tell you that you should just flip that around start caring about yourself and it doesn't even have to be anything major if you're just drinking water if you're brushing your teeth if you're taking a shower consistently if you're reading books if you're finding new hobbies that's just contributing to yourself and it just 
ups everything in your in your head and in your emotions so it's definitely a good step towards being a better person now i'm like not even there yet i'm still trying to figure it out and it's scary but at the same time i'm grateful for my experiences and i'm very grateful of where i came from i love my parents very much they provided for me, they showed me what real love is, and unfortunately I just had my own had my own problems. But that's that's my fault. And I've acknowledged it and I've I've forgave myself for it. But I'm still learning to be better. And that's what I feel like everyone should be striving for is to be better. Even if it's not anything like super major. As long as you acknowledge that you want to get better and you're taking the steps necessary to get there, that's all that matters. It doesn't have to be huge progress. As long as you're doing what's right for you. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. Thank you for watching.